episode of Mommy Needs a Break. It is a podcast for moms who don't have it all together because good, look, we don't have it together. And that's okay. I'm one of your hosts, Megan Thomas, at Make Scoop Everywhere. And I am Marisa Johnson at She is Marisa J. Make sure to follow Mommy Needs a Break on all platforms at MNAB Podcast and visit our website at mnabpodcast.com for updates and all the great stuff we have coming. Yes, yes. today's show is great, just like every other show. But we're talking about uh, giving your man some land. <laughs> you know, 40 acres and a mule, something like that. Um, we're talking about a lot of other stuff, but... We have to show you these beautiful ladies, our guests. Hello. Hello. They are moms and they're the hosts of the popular podcast, Good Moms, Bad Choices. You guys give it up for Erica Dickerson and Mila Mapp. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, thank full you. government name. Hello, right. Hey. Hello. Might as well throw Nicole in there while you're at it. <laughs> Megan is the queen of introductions. Okay. She has had some legendary introductions. I just be researching people. I'll be like, what's your name? Okay. Where are you from? Erica what you Nicole do? Dickerson. Um, initials E and D. Yes, I am the end of your life. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It ends with me, Megan. The, the, the dark Scorpio comes it's out. It's so funny. Like, when we first started, we were like, okay, who are we going to have on as guests? And you guys were literally, like, if you go in your emails, go look back a couple years. <laughs> and look for years. my name because I'm we telling really, you, I probably was in the contact form like three times. Like, how are new podcast? Oh no! Oh, don't we love your podcast. Oh God, we're <laughs> don't have our terrible email <laughs> etiquette. Oh yeah, email we're, it's not great. Thank God. With shout out to camera, we just got a virtual assistant, and it's changed our life because hey. yeah. there's a, probably a lot of contact emails that didn't get contact because we're not professional. Sorry. <laughs> Shut up. I'm a the professional really entrepreneur. Aligned, though. A the stars aligned. Yeah, the we, stars we met aligned. up when we needed to, right? right. Amen. Timing, and I'm baby. so happy to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Thank you. yes. Well, let's get into our first segment, Ain't No Shame. Marisa. Ain't No Shame. So Ain't No Shame is our mommy segment where we don't shame for unlawful parenting skills. <laughs> unlawful? Oh, Jesus. We're going to go to jail? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Megan, me, yeah, I think you have had like, some of the ones that are like, I don't think you should have said that. I know that's, that's why I don't do as many eight no shames as you, because mine is like, no, CPS getting called. Somebody yeah. going to call CPS on me, so yeah. I'll be letting you do it. Oh, yeah. Sure, it's bad. Yeah, I, I had to think about it, but actually this morning, Megan stayed at my house. I was trying to get the girls ready, and my baby took her hair glitter and just she just spilled it everywhere. And I was just like this. I, I was I was still cleaning. I don't mind her. I don't even react anymore to things that they do. Baby number two. Yeah. It's just whatever. <laughs> the house shall be glittery. Megan's right, right. like, oh, she's eating the glitter. And I was like, I mean, she? it was a was gob like, in her. She was like, ah. <laughs> it was like all glitter. And I was just, <laughs> just cleaning up a little bit. Like, are we ready to go, everyone? My, like you know, she's eating. The, you're not gonna. Oh, like, my girl, first question is, okay. girl, why do you have, <laughs> have to let your child have glitter in the first no, place? So you, it's the oldest. Hey, do you hate yourself? No, it's the <laughs> older. It's the older one. So there's this. There's this uh, cartoon called Style Files or something, mm. and they got hair elastics and hair glitter All the and, girly stuff. and clips. And the the four year old, she's like, "Mommy, I need hair glitter." And this was during the pandemic, Aww. so it's like, "Whatever, let me buy her some hair glitter." You are such a good mom. They barely. She is. You are they such barely. a good mom because my daughter would not be getting that fucking <laughs> Wait, hair elastic all, shit. If okay? you got the glitter, it would have been from Michaels in the sales section. It wouldn't have been the <laughs> official hair glitter. Right. Right. During COVID, I did the little Amazon. And no, it's true. During it, COVID, mom right. felt real bad. It should be right. real bad. We were buying kids slime and shit. Yeah, we were going against right. all the mommy rules. Yeah. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so, you know, Megan's over there trying to clean her mouth out. And I'm just like, oh. like, ah, she's I was like, do Wait, kids die from glitter? Did she, she like, spray it in her mouth? So she was spraying it and then she untwisted <laughs> oh, the top. Oh, and it just, yeah. she was, you know how twi- t- she was supposed to be so fast. So she, fast. I swear she did it in like two seconds. And then, of course, it's all out. And I was like, ah, <laughs> trying to help. And nice. I don't even know for how quickly it got into her mouth and her face. And she was so proud, like. <laughs> like show me and I was like oh my gosh she's gonna is she gonna die like what happens is it toxic she was like I don't know oh I saw her today go. she looks just fine to me <laughs> she looks all right. right she got glitter all over her neck <laughs> it's just beautiful she, so she's shining that's yeah. my ain't no shame moment for this week <laughs> <laughs> what about you ladies do you have any ain't no shame moments so I think we have a group. It's like a <laughs> collective because me and Jamila are basically married. We're married. We co-parent <laughs> together. We do a lot of mom shit together. So most of our ain't no shame moments happen together. together. In unison, which I will admit, it makes it much easier to do things when you're like, it's fine, right? Yeah, it's yeah, fine. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> fine. She said it was fine, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We said it was fine together, so she's an adult too, shit. <laughs> um, so we were in 
New York and our friend was like, do you want to go to a nude beach? And I was like, we were like, yeah, we want to go to the fucking nude beach. Duh. Yeah. And we're like, are we going to get the kid? How are we going to get like babysitters for the kids? And turns out we couldn't get babysitters She for the was kids. like, you can take the kids. She's like, you can take the kids. There's families family there. And I was like, I was like, yeah, it's just the beach, right? right? I'm like, everybody be naked. We're like, this is me and Erica talking to each other. Like, we they, be naked. We be naked. They know we be naked. Other people be naked. It's natural. We're going to go to the beach. I, like, I'm like, I don't want to go to the regular beach and I can go to the nude beach and it's right next door. Right. <laughs> She's like, me either. I'm like, so we're going to, like, I, Erica's the, the adult. I'm like, so we're going to do it? She's like, yeah, we're going to do it. It's fine. <laughs> I'm like, it's yeah. totally fine. I I'm like, you're right. Already. I was like, you know, this is gonna be a great experience for them. They're gonna just understand early that we all have bodies and it's t- perfectly fine and everyone's fucking normal. And not everybody who's naked is a fucking threat to your life. <laughs> like you're nudity not- is not a threat. Like it doesn't mean something bad is gonna happen. And you know what? We went and they didn't give a shit. They didn't give two fucks. And I was like, <laughs> on the way there, I was like, should we tell? You know, they're sick. Wait, what do you mean they didn't care? Like, they didn't, they were well, just they like, oh. Oh, okay. oh, I didn't know oh. they were, they should have, or were like, every, you know, this, uh, you know, sometimes we be naked, but this, at this beach, everybody be naked because <laughs> they want to get a tan. And they're like, okay. So then they get there and she's like, she heard them, overheard them say like, oh, there's really naked people. I thought you were joking. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. And then literally, they didn't give three. They, it, just, it was a, a bunch of old, pe- old people, first of all, that like go there people. every week they're like hey Susie good to see ya (laughs) like they have their own like like designated spots like this is their weekend hang and they were just chilling and it was perfectly fine and there were some other kids there too and I was like you know what I'm glad that we did this so that was my shame that I think most people would have a lot of opinions and if you're listening you probably do and that's perfectly fine but that is my I guess my shameful moment ain't no shame oh ain't no shame ain't no shame shame. sorry yeah you're right ain't no shame shame. (laughs) nudity is natural yes right I want to be just as like positive and confident as y'all are because I feel like I'd be the only person with pasties on at the new beach like no (laughs) Not, no, you look at everything. It's like it's always old people. It's not like a bunch of like sexy young hot bods. It's like old maybe people. Maybe some. Maybe some. There's definitely a few. It's like okay, five out of the like fifty thousand that'll be there. But I'll be the one be like, hi guys, hello Susie, hi to you too, hello. You know what? You will end up feeling uncomfortable being covered. The only mm. covered. Person. So you will just be like, fuck it, right? <laughs> Even to the point that people are like, we're on the beach goal. with the kids and like. People are coming, men are coming up to us like, hey, how are you? How's it? Today's a good day, huh? Where are you all from? I'm like, wow. Okay. Oh, yeah, I used to live there in the 70s. Yeah, you know, my hair used to look like yours. He's talking about my hair and I'm looking Stop. down. I'm like, okay, we're talking about the hair on top of top of my head. Okay, oh cool. Let's God. talk about this. Um, but yeah, like this. Wait, was it weird for like the girls to see like, oh, there's different anatomy or they didn't even notice? They didn't even notice. I think they know. I, I think, think they, I they know that. They notice. I think but, you notice, but, but there was no conversation. But the other night I'm sleeping in the bed. Luna always tries to talk a lot. That's it's in the bed. And, yeah, so she, right. she can like avoid sleeping. She's like, she didn't say anything about that, like the male anatomy or the woman's anatomy there, right. even though there was both. She's like, Mama, I'm like, yeah, she's like, what are boys' vaginas called? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love boys that vaginas. So much. I'm like, oh, penises. Boy. They're called penises. She's like, oh. <laughs> I'm like this is that what you're is- dozing off to bed too. I'm like boys' vaginas. That but that's like- funny that you say that because we interviewed a sex. What was it? A sex expert? What was she? A sex yeah. therapist expert sex last ex- week. Yeah, and she was saying how she doesn't lie to her her kids. She doesn't call them nicknames. Mm-hmm. She doesn't say right. PP or a private. She just calls them what it, what yeah, they are. Which you should. Yeah, yeah we yeah, don't. Like- I don't it, it, don't. It's very. It could be very harmful to teach yeah, your right. kid uh, alternative names for their private parts because, right. like, if something happens to them right. and they have to be called into court and they're calling their bed butterfly or their pp yeah. or their tug of boat i don't know what the hell <laughs> no it's true people have gotten off in these cases mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. they're not referring to their anatomy correctly so yeah. i think it's important and like just growing up and not being in unison with yeah. your body i, mean, I, I, I want to empower your kids to be able to identify themselves so that they can like, tell you something tell you if something does happen yeah. and just right. feel comfortable sh- you know having those conversations so i think that that's really really important i'm a huge advocate for parents you know really i saying it it feels uncomfortable at first because even for me because that's not how i grew up yeah uh, i was it was pp chee cheese yeah, you know yeah. what i'm saying Chee-chee. yeah and i'm like no same, this, same. this is a vagina and now it makes me proud my daughter will be like Mom, I have a like she'll reference it and just say just that. And I'm like, you know what? I'm so happy that yeah. this is that this is the way because f- yeah. I didn't even know what my vagina looked like. So I was like, I don't know, 19 or 20. Right, oh, right. It's a whole other. Yeah, it's a whole other topic. <laughs> but yeah, just 
it is. We'll call it what it is. That's what I'm talking about. Well, let's scroll. It is time. Uh, you know, when we take a break as moms, we decide to get on our phones and scroll a little bit. So on my timeline, what I saw is there was a story about uh, the rapper Moneybag Yo, his girlfriend, Ari Fletcher, gifted him with 28.8 acres for his 30th birthday, some land in Memphis. And so I was looking at this. I was like, hmm. So here's a question for all of us in here. What, at what point do you give certain lavish gifts? Like, is that a one year relationship? Is that a, we've been married 10 years? <laughs> like, when are, what are appropriate gifts for certain t- lengths of relationships? First of all, I don't even have the money. To oh, well, like, to well, A, when I'm rich. I'm like, right. B, I'm like, when, well, you're, <laughs> when you're piping me down. <laughs> Am I rich and I'm getting piped down? Then I get very confused. <laughs> There's no timeline. <laughs> now, if you're rich and I'm not rich, you should honor me with lavish gifts immediately. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't, I, I support everything she said. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a timeline. I mean, either way, like shit happens. Could ha- You could break up and you could, that nigga got 28 acres Man. and a mule and whatever. <laughs> like, if you're rich, who cares? Right, well, that, right. That's the best part about being rich. I, just like, it's, it's nothing. It's and nothing. that was land in Memphis. Let's be real. First of all, <laughs> don't ever buy me land in Memphis. <laughs> That didn't cost much. Let's Sell it say. back and let's let's relocate. Well, I mean, let's not diminish the gifts. I mean, she that's dope that she did that. I would yeah, I would love a gift like that. Is he from like, Memphis? Um, I don't, I don't know. even know. I couldn't even tell you. Who I'm, I'm just glad that as black people, if that's the gift that we're giving, I would much rather it be that than a fucking Birkin bag. Yeah. Or, right. And you know, they probably right. do all that. I know they do all that shit too. Right. Um, <laughs> but that I feel like is. You know, a value. if you're going to be a, if you're going to live in America, then you, we all know that being in America means you must own land. Like Something. that's right. That's part of capitalism and that's part of feeling successful and being successful here. So shit, buy me some land. Me some Please. Land appreciate. So you know that no matter what, like, yes, even if I bought you like one point or zero point zero two five parcels of an acre mm-hmm. it's gonna be worth something yeah, yep. like maybe 15, 20,000 years. I never years, build but, one goddamn thing on like, that thing. Right. right. <clears throat> Do you put it in their name or you put it in your name? No, like you're you're if it's their gift, you you're gifting it to them. The oh. only, no, I think you buy it in your name and then you have to you transfer have to, it over. Yeah, like it's something like that. Yeah. The only thing I will say about that is that I hope that she bought herself some land too. Yeah. Like I hope right. that Come she's on. not doing Come this on. all for a nigga because we do that <laughs> as women. We yes. would be like giving all of the <laughs> shit and not, years. you know, filling our own cups. I'm like so in an apartment. I just hope right. that she, you know, owns a few I have so many questions. Where is the land? Did he have plans on building something on it? Does he want to be a farmer? I looked at it and it was like, it looks like it's just in this res- it's not even residential there's like it looks like a church across the street there's like i guess a little like a factory next to it there's it's just kind of like there's nothing on the land there's just trees maybe he's a big plan for it and then she's maybe there's something the sentiment dream. some sort of sentimental value or something yeah. that we don't know to yeah. that land i was oh. a, i i never really had boyfriends so i didn't really you never had a boyfriend to- not really. You just it jump was, right to the it was more like no, I'm like you have a like whole that. husband and children. Well, like we didn't date. <laughs> you didn't? No, we were friends. And then what? you had, and then then you you had kids. We got married, and then I got pregnant. <laughs> Wait, you dated? We were friends. Literally, literally, we were friends. I had not talked to her in a year because she moved away. And then next thing you know, I saw online that she was married, and I was like, Wait, really? What? You remember we hadn't really talked that year. You oh. left, and you you had. This I was whole, in a, my I was in my prayer closet. She was yeah prayer closet. I don't know what is that like. You got like no like I moved out of the city and I just moved to the country. I moved to like humble Texas, out of Houston. Why? I don't know. I just need to break. Okay. I was I was, was doing like, a lot. I was like working in entertainment. I was doing a whole lot. I was like, I'm just quitting my job. Just she just needed like a reset. Like, like an needed, okay, that's a, oh, and I then, love that. Yeah, it was just that. But like, my point was, like, I never really did. It was just like more like, you know, I'm with this guy, this guy. It was no, there was no real relationship right, situation right, right, right. in my life. So I never had to buy anybody gifts. It was just like, oh, the holidays will go with my family, you go with yours. It was never. So I was never in a situation where I had to buy somebody anything really and I then i so. and then my nana always used to tell me don't buy a man shoes he'll walk, walk all over you <laughs> i was like that's okay. what i always and then when i buy two of shoes now i'm like nana man i'm like i nana really want to buy him these shoes like i don't think I don't that's gonna happen that's like i don't was think told gonna to happen man, i was like don't buy a woman shoes because she will walk away and really? leave you with them shoes off i swear she told me that as like a little kid like buy i had to shoes. be like fourth grade <laughs> That's an old piece. These are old people saying. <laughs> but I never had to buy like men anything because we were never like serious. I always flex. Okay. No, like that. That's not. A, Yo, we you were you, never you, serious. Not that you never, never had to. You chose not to that's because true. some women will 
fuck a nigga and buy him a gift right after. Yeah, you know like, what I yes, mean? Like, pick me. Yes, yes like me. immediately. I don't know. It's not the way you give love. It's not your love language, maybe. Uh, maybe give your, do you give was, your husband lots probably, of gifts now or is that still yeah, not really your think, thing? Yeah, I I do because I like gifts. So <laughs> We actually last night said we were going to start reading. We were supposed to read that book, that love language book before our first kid. And he will never read. <laughs> And he literally just said last night, okay, we'll, read, we'll read it. And I was like, okay, <laughs> this is three years, no, five Why years later. Five years later. Yeah. Okay. So maybe we'll read Y'all it. Y'all can do audible know. books. I'd be falling asleep. Yeah, I, I think I will too. I can't, I can't do it. I'm just I've saying, tried. people that don't like to read, but they, you know, they listen to podcasts. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I, I'm the type of bitch like I'll paint you a picture. I'll massage you. That's what's you know. <laughs> right, right. I think I, I gave myself more. I gave myself more to everybody. Mm. You know? so, I'm yeah, it was a thing you. like that. Like, oh yeah, God, I will I love you the to the end this of the, the world. <laughs> no matter what. <laughs> right. It was like that. I will ride for you. Yeah. <laughs> all I, day. I, I have to ask you guys about your podcast because it's first of all, Good Moms, Bad Choices is a great name. Thank you. Thank I you. love it. How did you come up with your podcast? How did you come up with the name? like what inspired you to do that um to be honest it wasn't super deeply thought out <laughs> at all <laughs> at all like that's i don't the best, that's the best yeah, yeah. That's actually the best way um i don't think there was a i mean we had thought into it maybe like two weeks worth of thought but like <laughs> we weren't very close friends oh, really yeah like we weren't close at all um we were cool because we had we, we have a mutual friend and our kids were the same we knew our kids were the same age we the mm -hmm. only people in our group of friends that had kids mm -hmm. so we kind of like would hang out like that okay but it wasn't super deep um i think we had probably hung out one time without the kids before we started the podcast and she saw me at a, a, my kid's birthday party and she had broken up with her baby daddy and i had broken up with my, my baby daddy and she was like um she had started dating because we were both single moms, which was an, also new to us. We were the first people with kids. At that time, we had we were in relationships. Then we broke up with them, and we were the first people to be single parents in our group. So that was a whole different thing. And she and we knew that. And she was like, um, I've been dating. I've been on Tinder. I was like, okay. <laughs> She's like, I met a couple on Tinder. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and I was like, I didn't know you're that spicy. Like, I'm, I'm a pretty spicy uh, woman. But I didn't know that she was this spicy because we didn't really talk that much because we weren't really right. that close of friends. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, sh and then she's like, you want to start a podcast? And I'm like, what's that? Uh, <laughs> I'm like, like, like a radio show? She's like, yeah, I'm like, okay. And I'm like, are you going to tell the story about your couple? And she was like, <clears throat> yep. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Like, That's good. So I was like, okay, cool. So yeah, I'll do it because how else are we going to talk if we can't talk freely? Yeah. And um, I think our big plan was like, we're going to come up with a name. And we might've like hung out one time to figure out a name. We didn't figure it out yet. It like, actually at first it was like parental advisory, good moms. At least I think it was, I did say bad decisions. People always say that, but like good moms, bad decisions. We sent it to our friends and they were like, this is not going to be good. People are going to like, people are not going to identify wrong idea. I'm like that. What's the wrong idea? <laughs> right, 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 right. They're like, but, but there's, you know, negative cognitive, you know, negative like association with bad choices or bad decisions, whatever the fuck it was. And for some reason, we're like, huh. We sounds, like, sounds great. We've been thinking about <laughs> it for two, it. two weeks. So <laughs> this is the best we could come up with. Um, and we went shopping for old timey outfits because I was like, we should have old timey outfits for the picture. It'll be really like <laughs> cool. It'll be like contrasting of our ideas. I thought it was a really deep idea. And then. <laughs> Our homegirl did a photo shoot for us. The same friend who introduced us. The same friend who introduced us. And um, I think we said, like, let's do a, do a test. Like, we just sat down. We just, like, did a test. And we're like, just started talking. And they're like, should we just put this one out? I'm like, yeah, okay. Because oh nobody, nobody's listening. Nobody yeah, cares. Right, like, right. And then we did it. And then we're like, fuck, do we have to do this again next week? <laughs> Stop. I'm like, I think it's Monday. I think we're gonna have to do it again. And they just kept doing that shit. And eventually <laughs> we were just talking so freely because we just knew nobody was fucking listening. I'm pretty sure we said like some pretty inappropriate things. <laughs> a lot. I think our second episode was like 10 ways to know your niggas bi bisexual or something. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, then there's another one like, are you dating inter interracially? Like, it was oh. like all this shit. It was like, I don't know why that was our expertise. 10 ways to know your niggas by. Because I knew a few. Wait, what were the, what and were like I wish I would have known. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I would have known. If I had had these, this list, then I wouldn't have done it. 
Uh, yeah, I, I can't remember. I'm not to revisit that. <laughs> that would be funny. That is so I, funny. That. I think that's, it's funny because in this mom podcast world, there's a, I wouldn't say there's a few, but we know all the black mom podcasts. Right, you know, right, right. Like, like We research. If you start a podcast that you're black mom, you're going to go research. Mm-hmm. And um, I don't know. It's interesting. We were on a, an other podcast once and it was just such a disconnect. <laughs> Not a disconnect. I don't, it, but it, it was, was just, different because, I th- and plus the humor. And I'm going to yeah. say, like, it's almost like code switching. You know, sometimes you got to, you know, you're a guest on somebody else's podcast. And they're not moms of color. So there was a little discomfort there. And then all of that was happening during, oh, during like, George Floyd. Oh, my God. Wait, were these, were these moms black or white? I'm they're white. Oh, oh, and they're, 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 comedians. They're, they're wonderful moms. They're comedians. And like, it was kind of like, we got on their show kind of to talk about like race relations, that kind of thing. So of course we're on their show. We're like, this is so different from our show. Oh yeah. And they were like, race, how do we talk about it? And it was like, there was like this awkwardness. But as soon as we started talking, it was more like, oh, like there's so much that we had in common because yes, we're moms, but also like the thing about it is we just want to be treated equally and not singled out and treated any different because of color of our skin. And so like, once we had that conversation, I, I know there's, you know, a lot of white people are kind of like, like, I don't know how to approach this topic with you. Do black we call person. the, are you black? <laughs> African American? Yeah. African American. Is, is color still a thing? Like, I don't know. Like, how do we like, uh, what do you like, prefer? But I say that to say, like what your experience is needed, right? Yeah, because yeah. there's not that many well, I mean, podcast, that's where, that's that. part of the reason that I think I felt inclined to ask Jamila to start the podcast was right. because I was listening to other types of podcasts. I'm really into murder mystery, actually. Mm-hmm. And I was like, let me look and see if there's any single pod, single people podcast. And there weren't. Yeah. And there were there were literally weren't not even in the really in the white space. And then I looked, OK, podcasts on motherhood. And it was like all white women, yeah. all married white women. And then like I, I was like, let me just try and listen to one. And I was like. Nope. And then <laughs> I was like, let me. me actually, then I even searched sex podcasts. And because you know, I've always been interested in I've always talked about sex pretty candidly with my my friends. Like it's not new for me to be talking about sex, <laughs> I guess, to thousands of people, yes. But but I went and listened to that. And even in that space, it was like so like I just couldn't relate to yeah. the cock. Yeah. And yeah. like just, cock. just certain <laughs> ways that when like white women discuss sex yeah and i was yeah. just not interested and I, even if it was the same experience in a way it was just not translating to m- me yeah, <laughs> yeah right. um and so i feel like that's where like we have this really amazing sweet spot in good moms is that we're black we're single we talk about sex freely and i mean we talk about so much more i mean those are the things that people remember about our podcast wait i have i have your your bio <laughs> uncensored cannabis and sex positive single moms <laughs> challenging <laughs> <laughs> social stereotypes yes <laughs> yeah it's like you guys in a nutshell right yeah but i mean and but i think that it's just i think it seems revolutionary for some reason yeah. for moms black moms to talk about sex i don't know why i mean it's it's just because we all are we're all here because we right. fucked right. Like, right you fucked you fucked you fucked i fucked we all fucked. i think it's black i think it's black people in general yeah. finding their voice now mm-hmm. like there's so many black people finding their voice in so many different ways but you know what to be like, honest it all sounds rather uh, the same you think so sometimes like i listen to white podcasts well, yeah, and i'm just like this yeah. seems like it's been done before right yeah right and like I, I'm, I'm so grateful that we're in a space that we're finding our voice and like it kind of trying to kind of having to take it you know like yeah. pa- make platforms and like yeah. thank god for podcasting be able to do that but like i don't know i get sometimes like i'm over hearing the same motherfucking perspective from you all <laughs> look yeah that's, that's, that's why i love your your podcast so much has there ever been a time where you guys like you know your topics are very racy and i love them but has there ever been a time where you're like oh that was too much or you're like Let's push the line some more. Yep. <laughs> I mean, all the time. I'm like, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, fuck. That's me. That's, That's me. And I'm, like, no, I'm always like, sure, Megan, sure. don't make that the clip. Like, no, no, don't make that the clip. Because if you make it the clip, the clip. then it's real. That but used to be. God like, forbid right. it's already Anyone there. listen to the whole thing. Right. Don't make it the clip, right. Megan. <laughs> That's our comfort zone. Like, it's not on the clip, so it doesn't exist. Right. Uh, no, bitch. You said it. Right. And it's there. Um, I have... I've definitely said shit like fuck we've never really rarely ever edited we yeah. rarely take shit out but I think it kind of like it's a, it's a, it's become a practice of like well I'm not perfect I said I'm not perfect 
like, right, right. if you approach me for 10 years from now with some shit that I said that wasn't perfect, I'm going to be like, I never, I, I apologize, maybe. Maybe not. I don't give a fuck. But I said it. That's where I was at that time. That's how right. I felt. That's yeah. how I translated how I was feeling. And, like, suck my dick if you don't like it. <laughs> I think it's just been really affirming for for those moments where people where we've sh- overshared or whatever you want to call it. When people come back to us and are so grateful that we share yeah. that. Mm-hmm. You know, or like that that's something we shared that we were really embarrassed about, like helped them. And I think that's what kind of what has for me, especially because I think I had a lot more um, anxiety about sharing things than maybe even Jamila um, based on like my other career. And I don't know, just some things that I was just kind of undoing as a as a, a an adult and a woman. And like I would feel so much anxiety, like I've almost even quit a few times, like, <laughs> like <laughs> girl, we can't. I got to quit. Like, I'm sorry. I can't do this anymore. Or just like, should we like, uh, I don't know if like we, we can't make make the title that we can't make that clip that should we take yeah. it out? But I think walking in my truth and walking in our truth and being authentic is part of our fucking gift. Yeah. And it's you know, it is scary. And maybe one day it'll come back and bite me in the ass when my daughter listens to my podcast. I do feel like it's bigger than <laughs> us now, though. I do feel like like being honest, it is it's not about my whether I'm embarrassed or if it's going to come back and bite me in the ass or if someone's going to like me if right. they hear that or accept me. But it's more like there is someone out there, a mom, a woman who needs to hear that because there Absolutely. are people doing some shit and literally hating themselves yeah. and yeah. feeling guilt and shame about it. Like, oh, you fucked that nigga and he didn't call you back. Bitch, me too. It's fine. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like there there are things that women really like just this, 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 like how our society is set up is just conditioned to make us feel so much worse about being human Mm -hmm. and about, and especially if you're a mom and it's just like, if I can be human out loud and make someone else feel better about where they're at and not feel like so guilty or whatever the fuck, I'm willing to do that. I'll Mm -hmm. take it, you know? Yeah. I don't really be in the comments like that anyway. I'll be in there. Look, I, I, I'll be blocking people. Don't come over here and hurt my feelings, okay? <laughs> hurt my feelings too much, you get blocked. And then, like, YouTube will ask you, like, why are you why you want to block them? Harassment? Who are they harassing and bullying? Me. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Their opinions are not good. <laughs> right. Um. So, I'll, so, when I look at your page and I, like, listen to the podcast, you guys are so, like, body positive. How did you get so confident? Especially, you know, like, for me, after having a baby, I was like, Ugh, I'm hideous. Don't show anyone this. And so like, but when I look at y'all, you guys are so free and so confident. How'd you get there? I just, I'd be naked. I like to be naked. <laughs> just I be naked you. more. I, yeah, just be naked more. I, Got it. I, okay. I just feel like Julie you got noted. getting one with self, you know, mm-hmm. like I'm not like, nobody's perfect. And our biggest critic is ourselves, right? Yeah, like I'm sure. super skinny. I'm like, every time me and Erica meet people who've never seen us before, they're like, Oh my God, I thought you were much bigger. What? I thought you were taller. Wow, you're so small. That's Can I pick the you thing. up? That's it's so strange. <laughs> um, but in my mind, I'm like a thicky, thick, like 5'11, like yeah. 160 pound woman. Like, I'm thick in my mind, honestly. Sometimes I see pictures, I'm like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> I'm like, I don't like that picture. I look skinny. Like, bitch, you're skinny. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't get the memo. It doesn't exist. Yes, yes. <laughs> I've like convinced myself. That is funny. So, I mean, I, I do think it's about just like getting one with it and like getting comfortable with yourself. And sometimes we're afraid to be naked. We're afraid to dance in the mirror. We're afraid, you know, like it yeah. doesn't feel comfortable, but it's like get comfortable with getting uncomfortable. Mm. I think with our, ch- well, with my children, especially the youngest now, they do little things or are like, mommy, come over here and do this with me. like like you said, dancing and things. And I'll find myself just in the moment. I'm like, yeah. Oh, I love this moment, you know? And just watching them and how free they are. Kids will do that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That is what I, I aspire to mm-hmm. be. Just right. like my little girls, you know, and they help me slow down. And she's like, I don't got to be doing all this right now. I can, I can turn up the music. Like, Mommy, turn up the music. No, no, I'm doing something. Like, what am I really doing? I'm doing nothing. Right, right. Turn up the music, up. Mm-hmm. you know? So I think having my little girls help me with that sometimes. It's just like, I can, I could be just like that. Or I used to be just like that. Mm-hmm. That's what yeah. it is. We all were. I used yeah. to be we just all were. like that, right? And then something happened. We grew up. You know, someone told us something. Told us someone yeah. someone, yeah. someone, yeah. someone right. shamed us. Right. Someone said something that, yeah. I mean, I think for me, I have. Uh, Thanks. I've, it's, Thanks. It's a journey Thanks. as far as like body positivity goes for me. I mean, like I have always um, struggled with my body image, I think. But I think most people assume that I'm extremely confident and that, you know, 
but I've definitely struggled. I have definitely like had borderline eating disorders in Mm -hmm. ways of like diet pills and not eating and like overeating, like for sure. And my, my weight goes up and down. And when I got pregnant, I gained 70 pounds in my pregnancy. And I was 220 when I had my daughter. And when I had her and I, you know, I I was told, you know, society tells you, you breastfeed, it's just going to fall off, girl, don't worry. And like, that shit did not fall off. Right. And not only that, I had a C-section scar and I already had body images, it yeah. image like issues, you know? And so looking in the mirror, I was like, who the fuck is this bitch? Yeah. Like, girl. I don't know who this is. I don't even know where to begin. I, so I just started eating more, you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah. And, you know, it's it's definitely been a journey. It's definitely been like, yeah, you, well, bitch, if you don't like the way you look, then fucking do something about it like let's exercise and let's do those things and that's you know I always say I don't know why it's so hard to take care of ourselves when you when you do it feels good Mm -hmm. but it also feels good not to you know (laughs) so it's like a never-ending struggle at least for me right um but I think, you know, therapy has been one thing that really helped me with my, my therapist. She, you know, was really I told her that I just didn't feel confident in, in myself. And she gave me different tools and tips, like just literally touching your body when you're putting lotion on, like talking mm. to your body. And she made me do it in front of her. And I was like, this is so fucking awkward. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, do it right now. And I was like. Oh, Wait, who is this therapist? Like, Eve Marie Ford. She's the bomb. Um, she's like, touch your body. I was like, my legs are so great. They're so <laughs> thick and juicy. Um, and I love I them. Love that. Um, but, you know, I really I really did it. I really did the things that she said. And they really did. And they really worked. And That's because cool. of that, like, I started getting, you know, the energy and the inspiration to go work out and do those things. And now when I do gain weight, like... I, I definitely can be hard on myself. And I mean, like I, my Jamila's heard me talk about like my weight and she's like, bitch, shut up. And I'm like, bitch, you don't understand. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot of body shaming going on <laughs> when she's fit. Uh, uh, <laughs> like, just cause you can eat pasta four times a day. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but I think at least I know now, like I'm still in that journey. I have not made the destination yet. It's still mm-hmm. an ongoing thing for me, but I, I noticed that when I do gain weight, I'm cool. Like, mm-hmm. I'm like, I just had to realize too, that like, I think motherhood makes you feel so sexy. Like yeah. you feel like, bitch, I made a whole ass person. Okay. Right, and I look right. good. And like, yep, I got these hips. She, my daughter gave me hips. Thank you. And guess what? The niggas are still knocking. So it's really <laughs> all up in my head. True. A lot of it is in my head. You are fucking gorgeous. Beautiful. Yeah. Both of you. Like, yeah, honestly, you. like beautiful, gorgeous. And I think the community, our community, like we, you know, empower one another. Like I've sent nudes to people and, and we tell and them to send us nudes. Like they send, Instagram. I send nudes. We're like, does this look good? Should I send it to this nigga? <laughs> and right. like they'll do the same. And I think it's about like, you know, I'm just, I think having a friend like Jamila and having other friends around me that empower me and I can empower has definitely contributed to like the journey of loving my body. That's yeah. good. I think yeah. these platforms also, you know, help with that as well. Cause just like hearing you, mm-hmm say that I, in my mind I'm like oh my god I remember when I I talked about like my eating disorder or talked about not liking this or that or gaining 200 or not gaining getting 200 pounds during COVID after my baby and my mind's like why would I share that but well, then hearing you share it, I'm like oh that's yeah. why I share it you know yeah um so it's just re it reaffirms hearing someone else another mother bring those type of that up. that's what it is all for about sure. for yeah. sure yeah like yeah. knowing you're not alone i think that's right. yeah it's so important in like feeling like affirming yourself and right. knowing that like this is who you are presently but you can always change and you're always growing and ever you know evolving like mm-hmm. just because you are at this weight at this very moment does not mean that this is what it is for the rest of your life and right. if it is then get into it <laughs> right and get into yes. it then get into it yes. <laughs> uh i bring up i keep bringing up my girls but i'm a girl mom Y'all are girl moms. What are some, you know, things you want them to know about their bodies or about growing up? And I think with me, even with the perception I have of myself, um, I think about them. Like if I'm in the mirror always talking about, oh, I need to, I need to put my makeup. Oh, I need to do this. I need to do that. You know, then that's how they're going to be. You know, when I get braids, like, mommy, I love your hair braids. Mommy, I love your curly Mm. hair. So there is a responsibility I know that I have with my, my girls teaching your girls. What do you want them to know about being a woman, being a young lady? It's so hard, right? It is hard. It's It's a a very very like hard line to tote. 
I'm realizing like, cause I'm super body positive and I like to be naked and I like to be free. But then like, there's also like this, like the social aspect of, like, is that acceptable? Is that like, are you bringing negative attention to your body? You know, like we grow up with so many mixed messages about our bodies, right. about our sexuality, about our femininity, about yeah. needing attention, about needing validation from men. It's very confusing. You know, you see Beyonce looking bomb, you know, but like it's all these, there's religion. So I just, I try to clear all that out first and just let her love her body and its yeah. innocence and its development and like, yeah. and its freedom. Like I'm very big on that. You know, I just like, we dance naked in the house all the time in the mirror. I talk positively about my body in front of her because I think it's important that she understands what it looks like to love yourself and love your physical because people are going to tell you shit your whole life about yeah. what you look like and who you are. So right. I just kind of like, I just, just want her to know you could, who you are, whoever you say you are. Like, I was like, oh, that boy is wearing a dress. I'm like, so mind your business. That's what he wanted to <laughs> mind wear. Mind your business. Why are you wearing that? You know, like, yeah. just like, she's like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a witch. Like I heard her tell Irie, like, I'm a, my mom's, a, I always call myself a night fairy. She's like, my mom's a night fairy. So I'm a day fairy. I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> you know, I just like, just stuff like that. Just like, I want you to have a clear perception of who you oh, are yeah. strongly and be supported in that before every boys tell you one thing or the TV right, tells wow. you this or like, you know, just, just the social part of like how it pollutes us and how we become so domesticated and like so reliant on everybody else's opinion. It's like, fuck all that. That's what you like, you become an adult and then realize you have to get back to this childlike, this childlike state, yeah. you know, like what if she never gets programmed with the bullshit to begin with? Exactly. Right. right. So I just, I, I agree. And I just, I just encourage my daughter to just be who she is. Cause we're so different. Like I am body positive and free and I'll be naked in the house, but and I'll be naked in front of my friends and I don't care. Whereas my daughter feels, she feels she's more conservative than I am by mm -hmm. nature, you know, and I'm not going to push that on her. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? So just being able to read your child too and like where she's at and like allowing her to blossom in the way that she was designed to blossom and not in the way that I feel like she should be blossoming. Yeah. yeah. Like she is not my mini me, right. you know, like she is. You know, yeah, yeah. but she's not. Like, you want to yeah. match today? <laughs> like she might want to. She is my mini me because she chooses to want to be. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Like yeah. she wants to wear like what I'm wearing. She wants. Yeah. To, there's certain things that she is. She emulates in me, and then there's certain things that she doesn't. And that's where I know that's her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, and like I'm like, okay, that's you, boo. Then let you do that then. Yeah. Um, but even that sometimes, even as a parent, is is is, is hard. Yeah. It's yeah. hard because there's times where I'm like girl just can't you just be like this because this would be so much easier <laughs> <laughs> like and yeah so i think i think yes just allowing her to just be authentically who she is without you know a lot of uh, interruption yeah. yeah i love today's mothers i know <laughs> i mean oh, this thanks. next generation of kids huh? seriously they're gonna be like i hope so this world is going yes. to shit i'm scared it is. oh it's blue <laughs> Yeah, y'all want to move? Here. Yeah, <laughs> we're trying to. Yeah. I don't we're even know if there's the gonna be a place to move soon. We're gonna oh, be yeah, an space island. girl. They doing space. Nice we, gotta, space. we gotta leave this. This oh, whole planet. Okay. talking about moving. I'm like, bitch, that's spreading like wildfire. This <laughs> <It's crazy>. is <laughs> worldwide, worldwide fuckery. Yes. I know. My dream has always been to live in Bali. I love I love the pictures. I've never been. Right. I've never, 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 never been either. either. Oh my god. I want to go to Bali. My only issue with Bali is that I can't smoke weed, and that you can't. No, no, you will like go to jail for like a for sure. Long time. Like it's not even wow. worth like. Wow, it's not even worth just like, fucking around with. They no. do a lot of yeah. yoga and meditation. Well, that's why they do maybe high some... naturally. <laughs> they got you <laughs> they on that natural high. Yeah, so they must have some other shit over there that's getting people, niggas high. They for like sure. they have yeah. to. They have some, something some herb. Probably mushrooms, probably. Yeah. It's just so peaceful. It's, yeah. Oh my god. That's that's like the the dream. Like, can we live there? Like, I mean, we, went, we 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 just we were, we just announced our retreat in Costa Rica, and we were we've been there twice, and that's how we felt when we went there. It was yeah. just like, oh my gosh, Must move. this is peace. This I is think peaceful. that's on the list of where Americans are moving to. Because I looked that up not mm, too long it is. ago. No, it has yeah. to be. Yeah. They need to calm down. But yeah. yes, <laughs> <laughs> y'all ain't going to mess it up. Don't mess it up. Who put that list out? <laughs> right, right, right. Girl, we be looking immediately. Okay. I am. I'm, I'm sure it's like one of the top searches. Like. Where, where the I mean, fuck can I go? It really is a beautiful yes. place. There's something magical there that feels untapped and like just pure. Pure. When's yeah. the retreat? 
Uh, it's January 31st, 2022, and February 5th. We're doing two dates back to back. So you're staying out there. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, we're staying. We're, you can't tell us we're not like uh, uh, Costa, Costa Rican, Rican uh, citizens. Wait, where is it at in Costa Rica? Is uh, it like the west side or east side of the country? Uh, now we're going to the Caribbean side where the Ooh, black folks be. Yes. What is it like loose? It starts Limon. With Limon. Wait, Limon. 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 This is like coming up January, right? Yeah. yeah, like yeah. Months. Months. Four months away, yeah. but it's coming up. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I guess we going. <laughs> Come on. Wait, I got to be naked though. I'm not ready yet. You don't have to be okay. naked. <laughs> I'm not ready. I'm not ready yet. I'm still working on it. <laughs> I mean, but what? By the by, the six, third day, boo, you might be. You I might, don't like, know. We're taking over the whole property. So. Yeah, so it's going to be nice. all women. Yeah, nice. <laughs> that is so funny. I really, I literally just met someone who's from Limon, and she's she was telling me she was like, yeah, where everyone's black there, and I was like, really? She's yeah. like, yes. You know, and there's no racism. She's like, we never grew up with racism until I got to America, and I was like, oh, there's people have a problem with me. I was like, that's so beautiful to like be black in a country where there's not a lot of black people and never know what racism feels like. Mm-hmm. It's like, God, what is that? I'm going to have to come to this. You should. <laughs> Last year, I was so pregnant during that time. Every month that passed, I'm like, oh, I was so pregnant. I couldn't do anything. I'm going somewhere. Every month that passed. <laughs> well, you ain't pregnant no I more. Ain't no pregnant no more, boo. <laughs> let go. Let go. Let go. <laughs> so I want to ask y'all um, about your, just your podcast. It's so successful. You know, you guys have a lot of subscribers and listeners. What are some tips for people who probably want to dive in and do the same thing you did? Just start. Yeah. Yeah. Don't overthink yep. that shit. Yeah. Don't wait to accumulate. I mean, maybe you can wait to accumulate some episodes. Our tactics of not planning at all are not great, but <laughs> um, I would. I think people talk themselves out of shit. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. like overthink it and think about how you're supposed to sound and overthink what you've said. And sometimes, like with podcasting particularly, like people are coming to hear you. Yeah. You don't necessarily have to have a bunch of guests. You don't necessarily have to say what everybody's going to like because they are coming to hear. What's you. that part? You don't have to have a lot of guests. Say that part one more time. You don't have. This to. will be like we don't have a guest. I'll be like, so girl, let's just get on. She'll be like, mm. uh, honestly, <laughs> honestly, I just be needing to know the topic. Sometimes, like I think, I think she got you covered, girl. I think right, she's right. Right. She's a full computer. I think she's she got is. You Megan covered. is an amazing researcher. Okay, that's all I do, girl. I don't reach the inter- end of the internet too many times already. <laughs> Can you be on our team? Girl, you Literally, got May. you know what I mean. May's busy. And May's being she's, outsourced. No, she's gotten busy. I'm yeah. like, bitch, you're supposed to be with us. <laughs> I was like, are you she's coming great. today? She's like, oh, no, no we're bitch. A whole yeah. festival. Like, I'm a what? teacher. <laughs> I'm like, how are you a teacher now? I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn, man, can you duplicate yourself? <laughs> Yeah, I think that like there's so many different type of podcasts, though. There's like, you know, ones that are solo. There's ones that are, you know, there's so many. So you decide what you want to do. And I think that not for us, like not having guests, you know, we this month we we had a very stressful month because we 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 have themed months. So Mm -hmm. on the podcast, we try to like have a theme each month. And this month was back to school and back to school meant like we had to learn from people, which also meant that we had to have guests and also meant that we had to like plan ahead, which mm-hmm. we we're, don't do. we're not good at. And so <laughs> I was so motherfucking stressed out all month. I was yeah. like, I will never do this again. I was, she was like, I don't want a podcast anymore. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I was like, I'll never do this again. And I just feel like our listeners, thankfully, and I think, I think you too, they really enjoy just us yeah. t- shooting yeah. our shit and talking. And like, I was like, we didn't even have to do all this shit. Why would we ever make a whole month where we Lord actually shit. need guests? <laughs> like, I was like, I love guests and I love having guests on, but sometimes it'd be stressful. Yeah. yeah. Can you send um, a photo? And if you're going to, I feel like if you're going to do like a guest podcast like heavily like just have seasons then yep. yeah you know ours is every week we put out we've maybe taken like three weeks off ever in our whole <laughs> yeah. existence well, we were hanging out with this guy and he has a podcast and he was like i yeah like what did he say would you consider your podcast a celebrity podcast <laughs> i'm like what the fuck is that i'm like <laughs> <laughs> Like, if you consider what is it your, like the one percent, the three percent? He's like, as oh, of a podcast, yeah. yeah. It's very, yeah. Small. He's like, yeah, it's a celebrity podcast. I'm like, what does that mean? He's like, we interview celebrities. I'm like, good luck maintaining that, oh, right? Because that's so scheduled. That's the, How that's many fucking like celebrities worst. do you know? <laughs> right. Well, that and also celebrities be canceling. So, <laughs> right. girl, can't even man. Yeah. Yeah. Right. What? How, how do y'all make it balance with your like everyday jobs and like stuff outside of the podcast? I don't know. I had a nervous breakdown three days ago, so <gasps> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, she's not. Uh, I mean, I, 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 
I say that to say is that there's no perfect balance, yeah, you know, yeah. like some di- some months like we were killing it and we were planned out ahead and we had all our shit together. Us. It was fucking beautiful. See, I guess we're not that different. OK, it was right, beautiful. Right. And I was like, oh, I love podcasts. This so is so easy. amazing. Oh, we did it. We finally made it, bitch. And then this month I was like, I, <laughs> I want to I'm going to fucking crash and burn. I was like, I'm done. I'm going to die. <laughs> Maybe, maybe it's the season. I was like, I can't maybe. sleep. Maybe I, like, I think it is the season. But yeah. I'm like, bitch, we didn't come three and a half years in for you to quit in right, September. Right. Because of back to school September, mm. bitch. Yeah. <laughs> y'all are, y'all like, are we didn't come, we didn't come right all now. this way to, to quit over <laughs> learning a, a, for a full month. that we. But I would say, like, I'm still learning. I don't have a perfect, I don't know. Like, I don't have a perfect remedy of anything. I would say keep a calendar. I'm not good at that, but I'm going to, I'm working on it this month. And, you know, carve out time for yourself because I haven't done that in about a month. And a few days ago was the result of not doing that. And at the past two nights, I went to bed at 930 and I feel fucking amazing. And I was like, wow, just to take care of yourself in the smallest ways makes such a big difference. I feel so much better today. Outsource. Why would I ever cancel my podcast? (laughs) I was was literally last week I said that. I said we should maybe just stop and just, <laughs> stop. And just <laughs> call it quit. And then we have these like social media, like this, these two kids that are working on our social media. They were like, what? Like, no way. And I was just like, no way. No way can yeah. we just quit. Well, you know, yeah. It's, because it's, it's like all the businesses, all the yeah. kids. And I, I get it. You have, and I have, you have more things than this. Like, yeah. And I love, I love when we talk because it's yes. like the most time we get to talk. Right, right, right. <laughs> this like, is therapy. So it it literally therapy. is. When I don't podcast, I get sad. I do. Yeah, so really. then I have to remember that. Because like when we do batch record, I'll be like, girl, we haven't actually like recorded in like four weeks. I'm like, right. I need to get on the mic. Yeah. Say. Just, there's so yeah. much. There's so much. That is true. Yeah. I guess it's the only place I actually talk. Like I said, I don't talk. Unless I'm in Atlanta. I only talk on the Everybody. Uh, in the dirty Somebody south. Somebody friends out there. <laughs> Jeez. What? So what, what's next for your podcast besides the, you know, you have the retreat coming up. I'm going. Oh, okay. come. Well, yes, I'm please come. Right yeah, now. make sure you guys. Well, the next is our, is this retreat. It's the, called the Good Vibe Retreat. Make sure to follow us on Instagram because we're going to be doing more retreats. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, I, we just got a, we, we signed a book deal. So we have a book coming Ooh. out. Yes. Yes. With Harper Collins. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. So that will be coming out probably at the end of next year, hopefully. Okay. We also... <laughs> We also are some Jamaicans. We have 400,000 businesses. <laughs> um, we're also launching a cannabis line. Wow. Yeah, yeah called okay. Mama's Flowers. Okay. Um, our first product, our pre-rolls, mini pre-rolls. Yes. So that's really exciting. And what else? I'm just podcasting and just grinding podcasting and girl. being good moms that are making bad choices. Hopefully, maybe my ne- what's next is hopefully I'll have a nigga at some point in my life. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I'm putting it out there. I've been manifesting it for a good hard six months. A okay. rich one. I'm still waiting on you. <laughs> Hello. I am talking, <laughs> I am talking to a nice DMs. gentleman right now. I, that's hard to believe that they don't be in the DM. They no. don't. No, really? they don't. I'll show you well, the dry as hell, girl. guys knocking on your doors. Mm. Really? You know what? There's a weird audience. You know what? I, I realize, like, <laughs> podcasters have an interesting audience. It's, like, kind of nerdy, like, techie people who oh, like little bandy. <laughs> Those are the best husbands. Yes. That's probably Those true. Those are the best <laughs> Husband. Well, Do you see the setup? I was going to say, if the camera can nerdy, see this setup, I was like, okay, like, this is the husband. You know what? You, know, right. you did, you did good. good. You did good. Do you okay. see the setup? Okay. Your, your friend to husband. You did it. You really did <laughs> it. The tech scene is probably the best. It's the best it thing. Is. Mine is the You're tech scene. Right. I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. nerd. Okay. Yeah. I've been nerds. moving coins for this one. Okay. I'm the nerd. Okay. You know what? I've been on the nerd train. So I've been. If any nerds are out there that think I'm attractive at. <laughs> at Mila underscore Mapo on Instagram. M I L A H. They will add the value to the life. Okay. Yes. I'm usually I don't like, disagree. I got all these dreams and ideas. You're going to make them happen? And Terrell, like, is the. <laughs> He just like makes it. He's that. He life. just makes it happen. I love that. Like, oh, you're shooting a podcast today. <laughs> like, yeah, I think we're just going to, you know, put it, put our laptop. <laughs> It's like no, put a He's light like, up. No. I know. We, like, yeah, I didn't see it before. It was like five cameras. We was like, why no, there were so cameras? many cameras. He said each person needs their own. And we were, we were like, like, we just needed like two. No, he took them out. He took them out. Oh, out. Oh, like, there, there was more be, than this. He be, was, yes, he'd be going. All, there was way more cameras. <laughs> he'd be everyone needs their own individual camera. Erica, if you get a techie boyfriend and I get a techie boyfriend and they're aligned in their production, we we have a fucking empire. This bitch. They weren't. They weren't the ones. They were not. They weren't the ones. We both. 
both keep had techie boyfriends at the same time. Really? We, it was yeah. not a good idea. Keep They're going. out there, keep guys. Going. They yeah. weren't the right techs. They're out no, there. They weren't the right techs. They were the wrong tech. They were in tech, not right. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> that <laughs> was funny. All right, before we get out of here, we have one more segment called, mm, I'm fine. <sighs> mm, this is usually my segment. <laughs> mm. um, let's see, let's see. Success is like liking yourself, liking what you do, and liking how you do it. It's Maya Angelou. I was going to bring my Mattel Barbie in and everything. I have a Maya Angelou Mattel Barbie. Oh. Who knew she even um, had a right. Mattel Barbie? Yeah, she That's like, is it in the box? Yeah. Are you going to be rich? You. Keep that. Keep that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you know, we were, you know, we're talking about our bodies and, you know, it's, it's might as well. We only have one of them. We only have this one life, you know. Might Not as well. Might as like, well. <laughs> might as well like it, like it, you know. Like what well. you do. Fuck it. <laughs> no, you know what? We've been practicing that. I feel like because me and Terrell work a lot, and especially he works way harder than me. And I'm just like, can we go out? Like, let's just go out. Like, whatever. Let's just leave it with the baby. Let's just do it. It's Wednesday. I went out on Wednesday. Okay. I was so baller. proud of myself this week. Yes. And you, especially because she's been going to bed at like 7 p.m. Not like, no seven, lie. girl. Like because seven. The kids still be up. I okay. have a client on East Coast. And oh, so wow. I have this meeting, an early meeting. So I'm trying to like do the Peloton and, and meditate and all this she nonsense right oh, no i haven't done it in two weeks so don't say that that's <laughs> okay, not okay you'll get back okay. to yeah. it yes so yeah. i have to go to bed early but i went out on a wednesday and it was just like you know whatever it's wednesday I'm gonna yes do this. Cool. Make is the coming rules. up you make the rules <laughs> right exactly. did you have fun i had such a fun time good such yes. a fun time that's good. Um, so yeah that's my <laughs> i'm fine today well thank you guys so much for taking a break with us we have more mommy and daddy guests coming up every single week I am Megan Thomas at Meg Scoop Everywhere. Our beautiful guests, where can we find you and your podcast? Um, you can find our podcast at Good Moms underscore Bad Choices and Good Moms Bad Choices across all platforms. Um, I'm Mila underscore Mapo. And I'm at Watch Erica. I love your guys' voices. <laughs> no, so you like, we just, we just got Hello. really, we're like, Hello. book the nigga. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yes, you can find me here. Um, and then make sure you check out our Patreon. We have a lot of cool content up there, um, some secret segments, and you can search us at patreon.com backslash goodmomsbadchoices. Yes. yes. And I'm Marisa Johnson. Make sure to follow MNAB Podcasts on all platforms, and we will be back next week. Hopefully, maybe if we don't quit. We're yeah, we going to be back. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha